The next stop on my journey through the Yarra Valley is the spectacular Tarawara winery. Winemaker Claire Halloran is racking the current vintage of Chardonnay, transferring it from the barrels to the tanks, ready for bottling. We're just blending our wine for 2007, our Tink yep. House Chardonnay. So yes. basically all we're doing, we use gas pressure. Yep. Um, the air goes in yep. and pushes the wine out. It's actually nitrogen that we use. Up into the tanks. Into the tanks, yeah. The estate produces about 15 to 20 different batches, which are eventually blended to make the Tarawara Reserve as well as the Tin Cows Chardonnay. I'm starting to get nervous here, Claire. What's going to happen? How do you know when this is empty? It makes a sound, so you can hear the last bit of the wine coming out yeah. of the barrel. Yeah. You yeah. ready? Yeah. It's quite loud. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I've asked Claire to explain what's so special about the Yarra's other great varietal, Pinot Noir. Whereas other Pinots, New World Pinots from around the world can be really kind of sweet fruit characters and yep. that really big up front, Yarras tend not to be quite so much like that, but they have a really lovely tannin structure. We're tasting the Tarawara 2006 Reserve Pinot Noir. What sort of foods would I be eating with, with this Pinot Noir? I mean, I actually really like it with things like roast chicken yes. or if you're doing, say, pasta dishes. And Pinot can handle a little, a little bit of spice as well. Yep. 